There was something interesting that you said, which is you'd made improvement in both rider retention and new riders, and you'd yeah. made some progress in Canada. Yeah. But actually, I wanted more specifics on, on what you did to achieve that. Yeah, so I break it down like this. First of all, good to be here. <laughs> Second of all, I break it down like this. First, you gotta get the basics right. We call it rideshare perfection. That's okay. all about pricing right, paying drivers right, picking you up fast. Our ETAs, that's what we call how fast we pick you up, are faster they've been in four years. So those are the basics. Once you do that, then you can build on top of that. Then you can do things like innovations around how fast can we pick you up for the airport, for example. One of my favorite example, I think last time you and I talked, we had just rolled out this on-time pickup promise, and now less than 1.5% of people are being picked up so late that we have to give them the 100 bucks. So after the basics, then you innovate, and then you partner with other people. We've got great partnerships with Chase, with Delta, and others. You put all those things together, and it's a great combination. It's worked really well. Oh, let's go in on the B2B partnerships, David, because yeah. I know that you are mobility first, but you yeah. look at Uber and Instacart yesterday. What other partnerships do you have in mind? So I probably won't be able to speculate on new partnerships, but I, but I can tell you this. You know, I spent in my prior career a lot of time in Africa. And I know you're asking, where is this going? But the answer is, in a lot of countries in Africa, there's this great expression. If you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go far, you go, get, you go together. So, you know, as I say, Delta, um, Amazon is a partner. We pick up some of their folks at distribution centers. LinkedIn is a partner. We actually, they, they overran their parking lot when people came back to work. And so we help people get back to work. Delta, Sky Miles, of course, you can get Sky Miles, but also we help move their flight crews around, uh, particularly in early morning hours. These are partnerships that they Chase with Sapphire. They're really deep partnerships. And when you really go deep with someone, you know, it's almost like a relationship. You can find all sorts of amazing things to do. Those together. are the groups of people you're moving. And as you know, I spend a lot of time thinking about how people move yeah. from A to B. Yeah. Uh, I want to go back to RoboTaxi. Tesla will show us a RoboTaxi in August. Mm. Your competitor Uber has this relationship with Waymo. I don't think you have a formal relationship. Right. But if Tesla comes to market, you must be thinking about that long term. Yes, but, so first, robo taxis, or let's just say um, autonomous vehicles are gonna happen. There's no question. Here in San Francisco, we know they're happening. You see them on the street. But we have to think about it this way. First, someone's gotta make the tech. Then someone's gotta build the car. Then someone's gotta own the car and someone's got to run the network, right? These are four different pieces of business that people have to do. We run the network, and it's a very expensive, very expansive network that we run every single day, two million rides a day. Now, if we need to incorporate, and of course we will, uh, autonomous vehicles into that, that's great. That's fantastic. It'll increase you know, supply and increase the number of different ways. But I don't really look at an initiative uh, like theirs and think it worries me. I think that's really interesting. It's going to maybe help expand the market. And I would say for them, gosh, that's a lot to take on at once. And so, you know, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. David, innovation was what you were just talking about. Would you ever reconsider innovation in taking more than just people, but food, but groceries? You know, our real focus is on moving people around and in specific getting them out of their house. And this is where I get a little philosophical. If you read any of the sort of articles about kind of the, the health of our nation, we talk a lot about sort of political divide, but there's also just a tremendous amount of loneliness and people staying at home too much and being disconnected with, from their friends and their family and so forth. So I'd say that really is going to be our focus. doesn't mean that, we, of course, we also get people out on bikes. Uh, you and I were just talking, mm -hmm. we've got a great bike system in New York, among other places. So that's important as well. Well, but I really think getting people out and about is really our focus. And then we can partner for other things to the extent that is important to, to customers. David, our Bloomberg intelligence analyst, Mandeep Singh, and I were going through your numbers and trying to see if it proved you'd taken market share from Uber. Mm. Dara Khosrowshahi is coming up next mm. after we've gone off uh, on the next program with Bloomberg's Emily Chang. Mm -hmm. What's your message for Dara in terms of <laughs> whether he should be looking over his shoulder and the progress you're making? You know, it's so funny. People love, of course, to talk about the sort of head-to-head -head thing. I, I think our competition is, is people staying at home. That's our competition. I want more people out. I want them connecting with other folks. I think it's just a much more interesting uh, way to run a business than to sort of always focus on your competitor. You know, look, they, they'll go through their ups and downs in their quarters. Uh, so will we. He's got a lot on his mind. It's fine. Ask him about all the different things he's got on his mind. And we're just going to focus on our, on, our, on our riders and drivers. On your mind, Gen Z, women, corporate travelers, who's getting in your cars? Who's riding your bikes, David? Well, so a lot of women are. I'm glad you brought that up. Of course, we have Women Plus Connect, which I'm so, so proud of. One of the great quotes I heard from a friend recently is when he said, 
he was actually talking to his girlfriend, and he said, why do you like this Women Plus Connect rider driver connection on Lyft? And she said, look, I can finally take a nap in rideshare. I can mm -hmm. finally take a nap, which I think is so profound. We've had something like 20,000 new women join the platform on the driver's side just since we've, we've uh, started um, the program. So super important. I'll tell you another thing that's really interesting. Right. We're seeing, of course, commute is happening, but also party time. People really are getting out. It's after 9 or after 5 o'clock, and it's, it's going great.